Hi guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Okay, till now we have discussed a couple of ETL interview questions, ETL testing interview questions, and it is quite, it is also useful for even SQL interviews as well. Okay, whenever you attend the SQL or data engineering or ETL testing. Okay, these are the common questions which they are going to ask you. So today we are going to discuss another interesting question. What is the difference between union versus union all? Union versus union all. Here we see input data. Table one is having single column, one, two, three, null. Table two also we have a one, two, three. Table two also we have a ID single column, two, four, five, null. Okay, let's understand this, how it is going to work union and union all. Let me open the paint. See, understand this. Okay, we are going to we are going to we are going to take two tables. Okay, let's understand this. Let's consider this is the table one. Table one. And this is the table two. Table two. Okay, so what is the data which we are entering here? Okay, let's understand. This is the one and two and three and null value, null value. And here, here data is two, four, five, then null value, null value. So what is the output of, what is the output of, what is the output of union? Okay, what is the output of union? Let's understand this, okay? Whenever you see union output, union output, Okay, union or and union or both are going to combine the data from two select statements, from two select statements or more than two select statements. Let's understand that. Okay, whenever you do union output, how it is going to do that? Okay, when you do this union or union all right, it is going to combine the data in vertical manner, combine the data in vertical manner. Let's understand that by seeing the output. Here, one, two, three, then four, five, null value will come, null value will come. Because if you observe, right, one, two, three, and two, four, five, null. So two is common both the places as well as null value also common. That is the reason you see one, two, three, four, five, and null value is the output of union, null value is the output of union union output now let's go with the union all let's go with the union all union all so if you go here union all output union all output let me write it up union all output how it is, it is going to be union all output see here okay the data which we have table one right straight away it is going to come like this straight away it is going to come like this one two three null okay after that you see table two data also it which is going to come here okay which is going to come here two four five null value null value which means it is going to take all the data from both the tables, both the select statements, both select statements. You don't see any skipping. When it comes to union, you are going to see it is going to eliminate the duplicate data and it is going to give you the only single value if it is present in two, two tables, okay, two select statements. Here two is present, here two is present. If you observe here two is present, here also two is present. Okay, so the output is coming only once. Here null value is present. Here null value is present. But we see only once. We see only once. And when it comes to union all, okay, irrespective of how many times it is present, it is going to it is going to show the output. It is going to show the output straight away. If you wanted to get the data from two tables without having any, without dropping any record, then we are going to see. We are going to use the union or union all. See, straight away you can see if you see one, two, three, four, table one output, table one data, 
two three four two four five null table to data. So this is the way you have to do that. But let's execute the practically. Let's execute practically. See here, I'm using the union table. Union table one. I have. I'm going to create two tables. I have created two tables. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and insert the data. See now. Let's go here and print both the tables output. First table output is first table whatever we have inserted one two three null. Second table two four five null. Now if I do union, okay. Whenever you are going ahead and doing the union or union all or set operators, right? First activity you have to make sure, okay. Number of columns should be same. Number of column should be same, okay. And next thing, okay. The column data type also should be same. Should be same. Next thing, okay. Here we are using single column, but when it comes to multiple column, column position also should be same. Should be same in both select statements. Both select statements. So if you have, if you, if it is fulfilled this, then only union or union are going to execute. Here, if you observe. We are using single column ID here also ID and when it when we have defined the table we have defined the table with the number data type in both the tables that is the reason data type is matching as well as number of columns also same number of also number of columns also same now let's write it up I have already written okay select star from table union table union select star from union table one. So two tables data which we are doing union, we are combining the data. Let's understand the output. If you see here, whatever I have shown in paint, whatever I have shown in paint, one, two, three, four, five, null. Can we see here in the output? Both are same, both are same. Now, when it comes to union all, okay, let's execute it. Can you see here, whatever the data which we see here, one, two, three, null, okay. If you see one, two, three, null. After that, wh whatever you see, two, four, five, null. Can we see immediately two, four, five, null? So it is not going to bother about it. It is going to take the first output as is, first table output, first select statement output, and it is going to take the sec immediately. It is going to take the second step, select statement output. It is not going to bother about it. And they can ask you question in a different way as well. Suppose I have a table. I have a table. Okay. I have a table. Let's go with the first this one. Let's complete it. Then we'll go with that. Okay. When what is the difference between union and union all? Union and union all both are working in a same way. When it comes to when it comes to union, it is going to it is going to display the only unique values. It is going to display the only unique values. When it comes to union all, it is going to display all the data and it is not going to remove any duplicate values it is not going to remove any duplicate values that is the major difference which you can see union versus union all. so which one is faster okay when it comes to union it is going to take more time because it is going to identify the duplicates then after that it has to remove that is the reason union is going to be performance wise it is going to be less compared to Compared to union all, union all, you need not to identify duplicates, nothing you are going to do. Just like whatever the data which is present in select statement one, you are going ahead and you are going to fetch the data. At the same time, union all, it is not going to remove any duplicates. That is the reason it is going to combine straight away. Performance perspective, it is far better union all. So that's it for the union and union all. But they can ask in a different way as well. The question will come in this way, okay? Whenever you see, okay, I'm having table one is having 100. Table one is having 100 records, okay? And table two is having, table two is having 200 records, 200 records. How can I get the, how can I, and the question comes, okay? Combine the data, combine the data, combine the data using SQL query using SQL query as 300 records, 300 records. What is the, write down the query for that. So simply what you can do, you can write it up this one, select star from table one and uh, select star from table one, union on select star from table two. 
so that automatically you can go ahead and see the 300 records 300 records that's it for today guys thank you so much for listening me and liking and sub subscribing thank you so much